Hey there everyone, welcome back to Game Finder. My name is Dave and today we are going to get our science on with a review of Subatomic. Let's do it. Disclaimer, this is a review copy from Genius Games. Now this is our very first review for Genius Games and it is actually my very first game that I played of theirs. Now I'm gonna be honest with you, when I see an educational game, it kind of rubs me the wrong way. I'm like, oh, this isn't gonna end well. And that's only because of my past experiences with educational games via video games and board games where there isn't much of um, a game there or there isn't much learning. But the word on the street is that Genius Games is trying to pioneer a new way about making the game fun and have some legitimate scientific knowledge backing it so you can learn and have fun at the same time. This is the second edition. It does take away some of the art. Uh, the box is much different and some of the um, cards are different too. This does have the seal of excellence from the Dice Tower. So since they think it's good, well, let's get to the production and see what we think about the production. And then I'll tell you how to play and give this game a grade. Let's go. Okay, so here's what comes in the box of the second edition of Subatomic, and the production of this game is explosive. It's fantastic, pretty much. Now, the difference between the two versions mainly is the emoji art is now gone, but there are different elements in here, like lithium and uh, what else, helium and all that jazz. Now, the cardboard components are pretty good. Let's do a cardboard break test right now. All right, so yeah, not too bad, about three, four ply. Uh, there is only one wooden component, but it is stellar. Big first player marker here, well painted. Um, and the, the player boards are nice. And the board isn't too large, but it gets the job done. And uh, that is this right here. But my favorite part, my favorite part are these magnifying little bubbly things right here. Sorry, camera. I love these so much. They magnify uh, anything that you put them on. You are supposed to be put them on this a little pad here, but you can like take small text and kind of scroll over it and read. And I just love these so much. I've never seen magnifying bits in this form before. And I don't know why I'm so enamored with them, but I, I am. I just love them. Okay, so that is the cardboard components here along with the cubes and stuff like that uh, now let's go and show you how to play this game let's go okay so this is the game set up for two players you'll give each player their starting deck four down quarks four up quarks and three gamma rays and as you can see I set up the board randomly put up your scientists randomly put up your tokens and then you have your single subatomic row and then your multiple subatomic row your player board and your player tokens a little bubble magnifying glass things that keep track of your uh, protons and neutrons down there and then you draw five cards to start off at the beginning of your turn and that is basically a deck builder game that's what you'll do you'll be able to keep any cards left over from uh your previous turn if you want but you always draw up to five cards that's the max you can have in your hand when you start now i'm going to go over most of the rules there are some things that i might miss like if you have three of a single card you can discard them and draw one from the uh, draw pile so there might be some nuance that i miss but you're going to get the overview of how this game plays so your main goal is to get rid of all your cubes and you're going to be getting rid of them on the board here the first person to do that will grab this and get it's essentially a free move and once somebody has taken all their cubes all 10 of them placed them up top here that triggers the end of the game and whoever has the most points at the end of the game via these elements up here and bonuses and everything else wins the game so in order to start buying some of those elements up there you're going to start off with these basic cards which can buy the single subatomic cards the neutrons here when you buy them you have to do two down corks and one up cork you spin that you take the card but you, in addition you have to play three energy which you can do by placing cards from your hand face down and using them for energy taking these tokens which you can save over round after round so once you pay all that you discard all those cards put them in your discard pile and now you've built up your deck just a little bit uh, the cards will get cheaper and slide down if you buy from this row this will go like that sorry camera and so forth and so on once you get one of these cards you can then put your bubble down here once you play it and say now i have one proton you use these protons and, and neutrons to buy the elements to get points 
Now, they have points down here and the cost is two pro protons, two neutrons, and two electrons. So uh, if you have that, you go ahead and spend that and then everything resets and then you replenish the elements. Now, it's going to be easier if you get these multi subatomic cards, which are expensive, but can really get the job done. Um, so you're going to have to actually uh, spend two energy to use this two proton, two neutrons. And this is the cost down here. But boy, that's a big card to have in your hand. Now, when you buy an element, like I said, you would put two cubes on a box here and if you are the first person to do that you take the token and it basically gives you a free kind of action this one is say take a, a single subatomic card which you can just boom take that and put in your discard pile now there are other cards you can buy like the scientists here though uh, they are just energy cost um, they are pretty pricey they get more exponentially more expensive as you wait and other people buy them so you want to try to buy them first but they have special powers when they come in your hand look at another player's hand and mimic two of their subatomic cards all other players may discard one card and draw a new new one that's Marie Curie you get Albert Einstein before you play any card this turn up to three energies and add uh, the same number of subatomic particles to your atom all other players may pay one energy to add one particle so uh, they are beneficial to other players but mostly they're going to give you the best perk the one thing that i didn't talk about is annihilation so you pay some energy to cull some of the cards in your hand so as you can tell you'll be getting more powerful cards so you want to get rid of these ones here that just pay for the subatomic and start getting some of these um, cards so you can pay for elements so you'll take care and discard those out of the game permanently so when you're drawing you're getting stronger cards every time and you'll continue to do this kind of play and like i said until somebody has 10 cubes on there now your player board here does kind of break down some other things you can actually pay just the up and down quarks to get protons and neutrons and electrons and wipe the board and draw cards if you need to but you that's how you play this game and that is how you play subatomic now I'm gonna give this a grade right now. It's got an 81 for me, which is a solid B. I recommend this game highly. So normally I don't get in depthly serious about uh, my reviews. I try to keep it light and fun, but I wanna do my best to project this game properly and to show you how much it won me over. I think this is a stellar game. The fact that it hits on a deck builder so well and so seamless, it's easy to teach. And they're just tiny nuanced things that you have to keep track of, but the board is right there to remind you what it is. The art production is solid. And they actually have a whole book right here. The science behind subatomic. They give you a description on all the scientists there, uh, the, the way that they make this game, the reason why you're using the cards to buy certain cards and and making certain elements and it takes a special certain team to go out there with the follow-through the care and the knowledge to execute such a combo that's going to win over essentially anybody that plays it it's looks like a complicated kind of game with the name subatomic but the fact that you can play this with anybody and, and then that person will have some knowledge about what they're doing almost instantly and then that kind of builds up, up confidence. When people get smarter and when knowledge is shared and it clicks in a person's head, most of the time that gives us endorphins and makes us happy. And to execute that, a deck builder, which I love already, it just it, it blows my mind. I really don't care too much about the score. Yes, it got a great score, but the fact that Genius Games is executing on all cylinders and doing exactly what they set out to do, making a great experience for a game and making it knowledgeable, it helps me take a step back and be proud of our hobby and to see it grow with just unique talent and finally educational games are fun again in my book so i cannot wait to do more genius game reviews i have a few more so keep an eye out for those so thank you so much again for the review copy guys and gals i really do appreciate it and uh, thank you so much for joining me in today's review fine nation until the next time that i see you uh, have a great rest of your day and a great time with all your play the link down below for buying this game is there and my name is dave and i'm scientifically out bye
Miko, it's time to go. Good girl, Miko.